Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how this time temperature uh, defrost works on these old pumps. They weren't a really good defrost because they worked on time temperature. If the coil was cold enough, which is about 32 degrees, and the time period had passed, it was going to defrost. Now this unit's only been running for about five minutes. I just kind of let it get settled down a little bit. Uh, I am going to rotate the time clock on the uh, defrost control and we'll see if it'll go in. Now we're, uh, I think we're about 18 degrees on our uh, indoor coil temperature. So it should be plenty cold enough. I'll go ahead and rotate it and let's see what happens. Okay, just went into defrost, not a hint of ice on the coil, can't see it too well there, but uh, you can kind of see the coil, uh, there's no ice on it at all, nothing, but it did go in defrost. So uh, I'm going to let this thing run for a minute, it's probably going to be fairly quick when it goes out of defrost simply because there's not very much or there's no ice on it. All it's going to do is just have to warm up the coil. Remember this will go into defrost with temperature below a certain point and time beyond a certain point. It will come out with temperature as the temperature rises or the uh, time period reaches 10 minutes. Okay, there it's back in and running again. Probably only in there for a couple of minutes. Uh, Anyway, that's time temperature, how it works, why it was replaced.